Majestic even, I should say. Anyway. Wait, what do you mean? What? I need to pay... How's it going, boys? Today, on Historic, we are gonna be playing... Well... It looks like a completely normal average life game, now doesn't it? Oh, but, there's a twist. There's a huge twist. This is the most morally questionable thing that you can honestly construct, especially with Mono White, honestly. We are disguising ourselves as a weak, defenseless Mono White life gain build. Now, on average, if I make a white life gain build, it's it's supposed to have like 60-30% win rate depending on the meta, depending on what's happening with the algorithm and whatnot. But this one, this one is gonna have like 60 at best. Because the reality is, we're actually super weak against other life gain builds. But you know, that's to be expected. White, uh, li white life gain versus white life gain pretty much comes down to who goes first and drops Soul Warden first. And that's the decider. But this one, let me explain how this works, right? We have things like Healing Pigeon, Lion and Vanguard, the Screever Defective Might, Soul Warden, Speaker of the Heavens. And that's it! That, that, that's all our creatures. That's all our creatures. And you're probably thinking, wait a minute, this seems horrible! That's because it technically is, but we have we have some cherries on top if we, if you know what I mean. We have Heliod, we have the Tars Crusade, and we have Abiding Grace. The whole dynamic of this build is pretty simple. We play against something, we start dropping healing pigeons up the wazoo, Vanguards, Soul Wardens, everything. And our opponent is like, oh my god, oh my god, I'm gonna rat this, I'm gonna win. And they've rat it. But what happens after that? Abiding Grace, and we start reanimating our one drops. And with things like Heliod, multiple Cleric Castes, Johnny's Welcomes, and Katar's Crusade. You kind of get the picture. It, it's like fighting against a windmill, or whatever they say. I don't know. There's, there's a saying for that. But essentially it goes like this. We're super weak in the early game. We're barely hanging on. But we are hanging on because our life gain is ridiculously amazing, obviously. And then at one point, it just flips. Our opponent may have a 10-10 on the field or whatever. But it's just not enough. Because these 1-1s are completely outscaling everything. And if you have no trample, you can't even attack me because I'm just gonna block and reanimate with Abiding Grace. Oh yes? Oh yes? And then we could draw cards with Talarian's Welcome, Katar's Crusade starts popping off, and you know, Heliod obviously himself. And by the way, did I mention uh, Griffin Eddy? Oh yeah, this card. For three life gain a turn, you create a 2-2 Griffin. Pretty cheeky, eh? Ah yes, yeah. This is a masterpiece. Anyway, four Nyx lands, and with that being said, 22 lands to be specific, 2.0 average mana cost with a lot of bunch of one drops. You think, wow, that's high, and it kind of is, but that's because of Qatar's Crusade. If you want, you can go with three Crusades and go for three Trilarian Welcomes, it's all up to you. But in any case, let's just get a Kraken and see what happens. Three lands start, but no Nyx land. That is highly unusual, as you may already have been able to tell. Because, if you did not know, uh, know this, it's a thing that Wizards does constantly. Well, it has done this from the... Wizards have done this in Arena from the very beginning, by the way. And that is, if you have something that's not just a land that's supposed to give mana, like a Nyx land, they call it, well, they consider it a special land. Because, well, it is technically special, right? It, it, it is, by all accounts, a, a special land, a special thing, right? So, Wizards treats it, well, specially, it's kind of in the name right there. And you usually always start with your special land in your hand. If you have 20 basic lands and 4 non-basic lands, you can bet your bottom biscuit, you are getting that land in the opener uh, right there without any questions asked, you know? Because that's just simply how it is. And I'm gonna bump this up and attack with everything because it is time. Also, I'm gonna bump the line in Vanguard for life gain. Oh, Heliod, you destroy lives. <laughs> oh, and this guy is some kind of life gain build or whatever. I'm not sure how good it is, well, good currently. Well, not a life gain, but he's some kind of frame. Leyline Prowler. Cool card. 
No one uses it though, even though it's amazing. Lifelink Detachman for three? That's insane. Well, you hello. Well, you did it. You did a thing and you attacked. I'm not sure how good that is. But at least we have the next land right here. Again, the next land. Or the special land is always gonna be here. If you have four land, uh, four of those special lands, by the way, in in your in your in your deck, you are pretty much always 100% guaranteed uh, to start with one in your opening hand. And this is, by the way, a funny. Ooh, okay. Danger zone. Danger zone. And that's a funny thing, because, by the way, people don't know that, and, and the, the funny part in that is, the fact that people don't know or and understand that, well, a lot of people make this mistake, uh, you, you see this with mono black decks constantly, by the way, it's mono black, but they have four Cabal Strongholds, right? Well, they have four Cabal Strongholds, and guess what happens? G guess what happens with the four Cabal Strongholds? <laughs> Their opening hand is a one black land and a Cabal Stronghold. That's what happens. Also, that's pretty, pretty uniquely annoying. Wow. Well, I guess this is fine, though. Mm. Am I bumping it? Mm, am I attacking? Probably no. I have enough HP to survive for a long time here. Passive income through Ardenvale and Heliod. So, pretty good. Harmonized, though. Interesting. 4 HP, though. What you gonna do? You need to you need to think. You need to be careful, Cardin Avatar. Darun. Wow, what a rapper name. 10 out of 10. Put the cat on purple and... Well, let's do what good rappers are supposed to have done to them. Let's kill them. Oh, yeah. What? All the good rappers have died. Except D DMX. Who over... Did he overdose? I think he overdosed that then, didn't he? Well, in any case, you know what it is, boys. Anyway, I'm not gonna attack with everything. I think he blocked. He doesn't block! This guy- This guy's insane! Wow! And now I have a sky blocker. It's called a griffin. Harry Potter stuff, I mean. Okay, so you have a bell haunt. Amazing! How about something- Are you just gonna attack again? Well, you are gonna get some value from the uh, Bell Haunt with the uh, Helio discard, but still. I don't know, dude. You seem kinda weak for someone who's playing 7D cards, not gonna lie. Usually, usually the 7D card players have all the solutions in the world for every, every problem that you didn't even know exists. But this guy? Kinda lackluster, not gonna lie. Anything I draw but a land is gonna be amazing. And even if we draw a land, I think it's technically still good. Well, we drew a land. Okay, take it back. It's technically not good. <laughs> okay. Well, we're bumping and pumping. That's what we're definitely doing. Attack my waifu. Attack my sweet, sweet, honorable waifu token. Haha! -ha! Show destruction. Good, good waifu token. Good. Ah. Uh, and, well, you know, that's also a thing. Still gonna pump that, uh, the griffin up a little bit. You don't want the bell haunt to be, you know, a perpetual problem. Also, how has this guy drawn so much and done so little with the monster manual? Does he have problems? Ah! That's a, that's... Yo! Relax, chief! I mean, we could be friends, but it looks like you're kind of not really... Cool with that, huh? Do I attack with the Griffin? This is a problem. This is commonly referred to as big problem now. Okay? So, I do this. I bump this up. I can attack with that. But I think I uh, my best... Is this good? Is this smart? Is this four? It's four plus... Four plus nothing. Okay? Well, in that case... It's gonna be lit- Wait, I- Wait, no, I received nothing from bumping and pumping with that. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. I can't even do this now. Oof. Ah, this is really, 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 really bad. Though, is it really, really that bad? He blocks with the- He blocks with the- With the Car uh, Toxo Trill, but that's fine, I think. The Healing Pigeon? 
not a big deal, honestly. Like, what up? So, what do I do now? Do I just bump up the healing pigeon until infinity? Yeah, probably. I mean, there's not really other uh, uh, another choice. He, he's gonna get a lot here done, but man. Okay, that's actually pretty decent. That's actually pretty decent. Again, keep, keep, keep the bump. Keep the bump up. This is gonna die, which is gonna be a problem, but... I mean, he's gonna have so much slugs, he's not gonna be no- he's not gonna know what to do with it. And here he plays another big boy. Let's see it to believe it. What is it? Uh, no one cares that whatever this is supposed to be. Right. Okay, and growth from ashes. It's been a while. This is a tree caused but the lands come in untapped. Which is, you know, essentially this makes it a tree cost. The kicker is amazing. Three cost, two lands on the field, but they're not tapped. Very underrated card, in my honest opinion. It is what it is, though. It is what it is. Okay, so, yeah, create more stuff, I guess. Hmm. What do I do now? This is, this is looking problematic in every aspect. I'm not liking it. Hmm. He sacks, he whacks. That's absolutely fine, though. I'm gonna close the window. To the window! To the wall! And chair noises and whatnot. Okay, so he sacks more sluggy boys. I need more of Johnny's welcomes. I I said a Johnny's welcomes, not useless heliodes. What 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 part of a Johnny's Oh my oh my lord, okay. Uh plan B. Yeah, the Griffin, the Griffin needs to, the Griffin needs to do some pump action shotgun moves right there. Okay, I'm not sure if I can win because honestly, I don't, I don't have the resources to deal with this. That Toxo Trill is definitely a problem, okay? Definitely a problem. So, he can't attack with the Bell Haunt. But I can't currently get this uh, big enough so I can actually do stuff. He's gonna attack me with the Ashioka. And he can just sack the slugs pretty much infinity. And now he plays more big stuff. And it's a Massacre Worm. Which literally makes no difference, by the way, which is a good thing. But... Oh! A Vorenslix. Ain't that absolutely no one cares, the cuteness. Okay, well, that's that's absolutely fine, technically. He's not gonna attack with that, which means I'm not gonna get a bump from that. I have drawn way too many lands. Way too many lands, boys. And uh, yeah, he's just attacking. Well, this has reach, so what the hell am I supposed to do, right? Can't block it? Hmm. Okay. Well... This is super unlucky, I ain't gonna lie. This is super unlucky. He can't do anything. Wait, wait, where are you getting the blue? Oh, wait, you're getting the blue out of Ashioka. Oh, wow. Okay. Dude, this guy just absolutely popped off, huh? This guy definitely popped off like there's no tomorrow. If only we had the resurrection magic. If only. I think we can't survive because this, there's a Forenslix. Uh, Leyline Prowler, that's fine. That's actually dealable, but still. Yeah, this is a bit annoying. Okay, Speaker of the Havens. Actually, actually not that bad. Actually, you know, useful. Some magically how. Well, not really useful if I think about it because I can't do much here. Uh, might as well just hit with the Heliod. Maybe some something happens. I'm not sure what could happen. Because everything's just gonna get removed. Everything's literally just gonna get removed. The Heliod's, by the way, gonna suffer a minus one. <laughs> not that it matters a lot, though. Oh, uh, yeah. Bellhound's gonna get a little bit of a pump. I think I lose. Yeah, I definitely lose. We... We got way too many lands here, sadly. 50% land draw ratio. Good game, yeah. Well, close. Close. Enjoyable, though. Oh, look at that! We're playing against the Rorschach from the Avengers. And our opponent just started with the, with the console, which is great. So, is this a mirror match? Set as Ascendant. Wow! And a Cleric class. Okay. 
Well, it's definitely something. <laughs> it's definitely something. So, I do have the Taladian Velcom, which kind of gives me a slight advantage. He has the Cleric class. He's probably gonna attack because it's just worth getting rid of the Soul Warden. No idea what this even is. Uh, what is this? Ah, oh, stuff MacGuffins. Okay, cool. I don't care if this gets actually uh, huge, honestly. So yeah, I'm not gonna attack because we have a plan that actually goes a little bit further than this. By Elspeth's command. Well, Elspeth could command me. Wait a minute. No, Elspeth doesn't get to command me. She's not mommy. Most Wait, he just attacks with that? I mean, he's close to getting the 5-5. Five five. So, wait, he actually did the bump trunk thing. Ooh, wait, yo, that's not good. That's not good at all. Oof. Well, this is gonna be a match, to say the least. Katar's Crusade, eh? Right, I'm gonna keep that in that case. That's, that's cool. Hmm. Does he attack? Or does he drop something? At the beginning, choose one that wasn't chosen before. Whoa! Choose one that wasn't chosen before? That's illegal! Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I need to get rid of this, by the way, so... There she blow it. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit, like, um, much for the plan, honestly, but hey, it's actually kind of fine. Wait! What? What? I forgot that's an interaction. I, I literally forgot that's an actual interaction. Well. Not good. Uh, let's see. Can I actually dump truck this? I can do this. It's four, 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 five. Ah, close. I kind of want to draw, but I don't think drawing is possible at this point. I can do this, but it's still five. So I do have my own cleric class with a crusade, so... This is gonna be a matchup, eh? Dude, what? Wait, what? What? I didn't even notice the uh, enclave. Wow. Yo, he's actually getting like big sauce from the command. I didn't even know this god existed because it's alchemy garbage. Oof. Okay, okay, okay. A, 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 a little bit dreadful, a little bit like devastating, but we can always draw a Heliod and out outscale the man. That's that's for sure. Okay, so what do we do here? We do this. Oh, it probably was better to do it the other way around, but you know, you know what? That's fine. I'm still gonna draw a card from this, so we should be good in the hood, right? Gain a little bit of life. Again, this is gonna be the El Grando life life gain match matchup, boys. It's it's gonna be a special time to be alive. He has draw cards, I have draw cards, and that's disappointing out of ten. Okay. At least next turn I can technically just double bump the cleric class up. Dude, this 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 guy's draws are not fun, not fun at all. How much damage is he doing? 12? 16? Dawn of Hope. Okay. Okay. Dude, I should have not attacked. Oh my god. The fact that I forgot that that's the interaction is... Well, literally me in a nutshell. But not good. Not good, me. Why, 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 why couldn't you do something smart, me? You know? A Johnny's welcome. That's actually pretty juiced. That is actually pretty juiced. Okay, so do this and pop, uh, pop, pop it like it's hot one time. We're, boys, we're gonna this one. This one's gonna be a long one. This is the long con right there, boys, because I am drawing Heliod before this person draws the Heliod, which means infinity value. Okay, that's that's the plan at least. A lot of life gain, so I'm not exactly too worried about this. Like, look at this, look at this, look look at this fat booty suddenly just appearing right there out of nowhere. And an abiding grace. You know what that's called? That's called success. That's what success looks like, boys. And you know what? That's, that's more. That, that's more. Mm-mm. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Mm-mm. You know what, boys? I have been a staunched anti-foodie combatant all my life, but currently... 
this is pretty good, not gonna lie, Chief. Currently, this is pretty good, not gonna lie at all. 15 deeps, yo. 15 deeps. And now we can reanimate the target, and that's... That's the big booty bump truck himself, boys. Chubbum's right there on the spot. He's... He, he, he's doing it. Also, how much am I taking damage? Not enough! Not enough for him to actually do anything again. Wait, I should have been... Uh, Wait, I should have been, uh, uh oh, I should have been actually, uh, bumping up our boy right here because- LIFELINK BABY! Oh yeah! Now this is the matchup. This is a travesty suddenly. Okay, I guess it's fine, I guess. You know what? Hey, we all have our- go Wait a minute, I can just get rid of the Bonders Enclave, no problemo! Okay. Wizards, listen to me. I'm gonna... Listen, wizards. I... I need anything that's literally not called a land. Okay? Anything that's called not a land. You know what we say to lands? Not today. Okay? That was a Tatar's Crusade, also a horrible draw, by the way. Okay, at least we got rid of the Tars Crusade. What was under him? Oh, a Pidgey. Okay. This this is where men are separated for, from the women. Draw. Yes! Big! Big! Huge! Absolutely ginormous! Oh, look at that, boy! Yeah, you look at that. You, mm -hmm. you, you like what you see, boy? I like what I see, boy. Yeah, and this guy is not actually putting uh, putting stuff on the right things because you're supposed to actually like you know, th this is the worrisome thing you know that that speaker of the Chubbums he 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 a coming for you boy, he he come he coming right straight at you in fact you know, is there a point in no there's no point in reanimating. Okay, okay, okay. See, this is the battle. This is the battle of the beast. The battle of the century, as they say. Ah, well, at least we found something interesting, you know, right? And I'm just attacking with, obviously, everything because of reasons. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Th this, this guy's like, okay, where did I go? I was winning, and now, suddenly, not winning as much. Kind of actually sad. That's right. That That's how this goes. And obviously, we tap Chubbums to create an angel that doesn't do anything for it now. Oh, but... But, on the flip side, well, at some point it's gonna do a lot. At some point- Wait, this is no longer even a flying popsicle. That's- That's pretty good. Well, he's gonna make it into a flying pops popsicle, probably, so not a big deal, I guess. Okay, end the festivities. Beautiful. Boys, leave down in the comments, do you believe in Senpai? That- that- that's me, by the way. That- that- that's me. Ah, uh, do you believe in me? Do you believe in Senpai? Do you believe in your daddy? You can call me daddy, by the way. No, not in public, though. I'm kind of ashamed of you. You're kind of a disappointment, not gonna lie. It's a miracle I haven't went to the store and bought cigarettes and never returned. Because, you know... <laughs> it is what it is. You know, my... My wife is currently thinking, Oh, I wonder how, how our kids are gonna look. Uh, and I'm currently sitting here wondering, will will the will the kids ever know how Daddy even looks in the first place? You know what I'm saying? That's right. Oh yeah. Oh, he dropped another ascendant. Dude, what is this guy's game plan? This guy is crazy. Okay, let's put the cat on purple because it's time to unleash our full power. I mean, look at this. It's already like completely an absolutely whack situation. Well, let's just do the offensive good game, and then, uh, Liliana emote. Mwah. j -Sop. Wait, what, what, wait, this, this guy's a hundred cards? Man, wizards. You know why people don't like historic? Because you let this shit slide. There is not a single person playing this game who's like, Oh, wow, such a great game against some kind of guy who's literally abusing the system and playing a hundred cards, and since he can't have less than a 50% win rate, 
uh, because if he has less than that, he's just going to leave uh, leave the game because he can't win enough games. Am I going to be forced fed to this? Yeah, because it kind of looks like it. And you know what, Wizards? No one... Ex not a lot of people enjoy it, you know? There are some who enjoy it, but trust me when I say this. Most people don't exactly enjoy this, okay? So, even if he adds, by the way, I still have a play with the level 3 cleric class uh, into the resurrection of Le Shabums. Yeah. Yeah, you know he's naked under there. <laughs> Makes sense. I would be. What? Why shouldn't I? <laughs> ah, good times. Also, he has a uh, triumph just for draws, eh? Well, actually, no. He, he has different colors also. I, I don't know what he's doing. Is he just throw... Yeah, I think he's just... Dude, he mad. He big mad. He thought he's... Dude, how close was he to winning? Like 10 HP or some stupid crap? I think it was like 10 HP or something like that. And you know what happened? Well, this happened. Yeah, this happened. And you know what? Can't even blame him. Beautiful. I would also be... Here, see, this is why there is a 50% uh, forced win ratio in this game. Because look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's playing 120-ish cards or something. And he's currently getting mad about the fact that he's not winning the game. I I don't know how I can explain this so this can sink in even more, okay? He's playing 120 cards. And by the way, a lot of people don't understand RNG, but RNG is not 1-0-1-0-1-1-0. It's not. It's different. Okay, now we're talking. This is a good hand. Three lands, literally everything. And playable stuff. Should have probably dropped the healing pigeon first, but I don't think it honestly. Ooh, red. Yes. Yes. My favorite type of enemy. Oh, boys. He's gonna probably hit the bird and he's gonna be like, Oh, look at this. It's going so good, so great. We're winning. Oh, Cody Mac, my boy. You don't even know what's happening. You don't even know what's popping off. Because, well, a lot of things are popping off. And speaking about popping off, by the way, boys, and 3.5% best percent. The new season of Futurama is here. And, boys, I love Futurama. I, I, it's my favorite show of all time. I have seen it multiple times. First episode, and you know what? Solid 8 out of... Shamans? I, I, I guess. Solid 8 out of 10, by the way. Very solid performance. You know, it's exactly what I would expect from Futurama, considering I saw Fu the last time I saw Futurama was not even a year ago at this rate. Oh, it's absolutely interesting. This is going to be a real battle, eh? Abilities of shamans. This is a wizard, though. Well, actually, it's wizards and shamans. I completely forgot about that. Okay, so... Our boy needs something in there, and he's absolutely gonna slay. Okay, stop, 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 stop. I think, I think we have gotten off of the wrong foot. You know, come see, come sign, whatnot. Well, actually, no. What happens if I cleric class upgrade? Is cleric class upgrading better than the Tatar screw? I don't care about this damage. You know, this is a lot of damage, but I don't care about it. Soul Warden, eh? Well, actually, that's perfect. Oh, wait, did I completely mess everything up just now? Yes, I did! Out of ten. Well, never literally has stopped me before, so I ain't gonna let it stop me now, okay? So, bump it up, and, well, let's just clear the class it up. And now we have some protection against removal because of this. 20 HP still on top, baby. He does have a super ultra omega hard ball hitting hard fact spitting combo right here. Oh, but I'm a believer. Okay, and now do this and pay to life and protect the bird. Okay, okay. As long as next turn we get anything but a land, we cheeky. And even the. No! Come back! So close! Now this is what you want to see in an opener hand. A pigeon. And a 
fat dude. Okay, not the fat dude, probably, but you get the point, you get the point. Let's see what our opponent is. Is this a mirror match? Because it's a Tefari avatar. You know, oh, oh, it's, it is a mirror match, eh? Yeah, not, not, not happy noises. Hmm, well, let's see, we have three devotion. Not bad for devotion with this. Can we actually, no, we can't attack screw. They no, we have the seat of the empire. Huh, wait, he did nothing. I mean, I'm okay with that. I wonder what he's actually playing. Maybe he's not even playing a life game. In which case, bonus points? Cat on purple for extra luck. We need it to believe it. Let's see. And, uh, triple elf. Wow. Okay. Uh, Griffin Erery. So, there's almost no situation, no circumstance. Where we do not... Well, is this actually... Yes, this is gonna proc because it's a uh, 3 life. Nice, nice, nice. We popping off, boys. Look at this. Tefari Avatar. Not today. Well, extremely today. This moment, in fact, even. Well, why shouldn't it be this moment if you think about it? Sweaky chair noise also. In any case... <laughs> Dude, who uses this? Atrimon Elf... Bruh, triple landivore elf. What a time to be an elf. Okay, let's see what else he does. Do you think he's even doing stuff? He's like, it looks to me like he's like super confused. Maybe he saw the angel waifu and he's like thinking, Okay, even if I have a shot, I'm not exactly sure how to take the armor off. So, uh, what exactly is the play here? In any case, he probably thought that that elder gargaroot is big business. Well, technically it is, but... Bigger business. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Let's see. Who wins? Green? Well, Selesnia Stompy, I guess this honestly is. Or one-cost creatures. I don't even know what you are supposed to be. Protection from white attack playing unless they're control at base. Okay. Uh, b b big doo-doo plays. Got it. Got it, Chief. In any case, let's do this. Let's bump it up. And let's now do this. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's absolutely beautiful. Majestic, even. Majestic, even, I should say. Anyway. Wait, what do you mean? What? I need to pay... What do you mean? Archon of Absa, no one cares. Oh, God, and he's playing Anissa, eh? Do I actually just hit Anissa with everything I got? Probably. Uh, he has four mana left, so not Im not deeply impressed. Okay, okay. It's time to relax, Chief. I think it's time to relax a little bit. Okay. Uh, I I think I I think we have gotten off the wrong foot or something like that. You know, it's it, it it's a little bit much, uh, and I'm and I'm not uh, loving it, McDonald's. Please. Okay. Attack with this. Auto pay six. Dude, <laughs> what is this? He can actually block everything. That's disgusting and disgraceful. Like, come on. I deserve better than this. Said myself. Okay, what is he gonna do? Draw a card, gain life, or do a beastie boy? Okay, how is this? Dude, protection from white. Of all things unholy. How? How? What, what 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 kind of travesty against humanity is this? I honestly well I I can if I get the lane. He can he he minus ones and literally destroys my whole existence. Yep. What 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 a, what a time to be alive, boys. So, how do you like the build? How do you like it? How do you like the video? I think it's super fun. I think it's enjoyable. When you get those sudden swing wins, it's just beautiful. I abs it's, it's just great, what can I say? Anyway, go watch Futurama if you haven't. It's, it's the greatest show ever. And also, this was Quizzer Sensen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.